All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, guys. Today we have a Chicago Bulls and Houston Rocket trade video idea with the trade deadline approaching just next month. I feel like these videos are very fun to make and very fun to watch. So before we go any further, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. We're still like 130 subs away from 10,000 trying to hit it just as soon as humanly possible. So hit that like button for the algorithm. Let's get into this trade. It's Christian Wood for Patrick Williams and Troy Brown Jr. and a second round pick. Now, you guys know, if you guys know me, I live here in Chicago. I'm not in Chicago right now, but I live in Chicago. I'm a Bulls fan. I'm also a Houston Rockets fan. So this is one of those really interesting trades. I'll start it off with the from the Bulls side. I like what the Bulls have right now. I love the fact, I mean, they're 25 and 10. They are number one in the Eastern Conference. They are getting healthier. Like the Bulls, I don't think they should really mess around with any trades like this. The reason I made this video was because Patrick Williams and Troy Brown Jr. and a second round pick for Christian Wood, I feel like that's really, I feel like that's a really fair evaluation for Christian Wood. I think that's really fair. So for some reason, if the Bulls were, feeling desperate and i think it would revolve i think or require i think it would require like a season ending injury knock on wood doesn't happen but i think it would take something catastrophic for the chicago bulls to feel like they need to make a trade for jeremy grant or patrick williams at the same time ak they are aggressive they are an aggressive front office aggressive gm style and i love it because in chicago we haven't had that in like my whole life we have not had an aggressive front office, I swear, for like my whole life. And I think it's also a, a portion of this is my thoughts on Patrick Williams. I have this emotional attachment to Patrick Williams because first off, we drafted him so high. We drafted him so high. We saw him play his rookie season. We saw him guard some monsters like Giannis, LeBron James. So as a Bulls fan, we were really, really excited for Patrick Williams this season. Unfortunately, only five games into the year, he goes down um, until at least playoff time. Hopefully he'll be back come playoffs. 6.6 6 points per game. I mean, you're not really getting much statistically from Patrick Williams in, in five games played. Uh, but last year, 40% from downtown and shot nine, had 9.2 points per game and 4.6 rebounds. I feel like there is a ton of potential there. He's kind of like he's kind of like Scotty Barnes, Kawhi Leonard. Like that's what Patrick Williams reminds me of. And I just feel like if the Chicago Bulls were to trade him away for Jeremy Grant or were to trade him away for Christian Wood. I just have a feeling that it's going to come back and bite him. What I would rather see the Chicago Bulls do is hold on to Kobe White, hold on to Patrick Williams, and explore the buyout market. I think the buyout market, every year people kind of forget, like, oh, damn, there's some, not maybe not star power, but there's some, there's some star-esque power that usually comes out of the buyout market. I was fantasizing in my live stream yesterday of if the Bulls somehow, some way got Kevin Love, that would be unreal like in the buyout market but i think kevin love is sticking in cleveland this year they're having a blast despite all the injuries kevin love looks like he is having a phenomenal time and it looks like a great time as well in cleveland so from the bulls st standpoint i'm not too huge on, i'm not too keen on this trade from the rocket side getting a guy like patrick williams for christian wood i don't care about the second round pick i don't care about troy brown jr although there is some potential with tbj I just love the fact that you're, you'd are you be able to get Patrick Williams onto your roster, a guy who can play the small forward position, a guy who can play the power forward position. Long term, I think this would be really bad for Jay Sean Tate, but as a Rockets fan, I don't think Jay Sean Tate is a part of our long term future. I think once his contract is up, I don't know if the Houston Rockets are going to be willing to pay him depending on where our team is at, you know, depending what the future looks like, where the drafts, what the drafts guys are looking like. I don't know if the Rockets are going to be willing to pay Jay Sean Tate a nice salary that he's going to deserve when his time is up. So getting a guy like Patrick Williams, who is six years younger and a lot more potential, a lot more star potential. I really like the idea of that. Now, like I said, I wouldn't be surprised if AK were to pull the trigger on a trade reg regarding Patrick Williams or regarding Kobe White. Getting a guy like Christian Wood, as as many as much as he has defensive issues, I feel like a, a decent portion of why Christian Wood struggles so much on the defensive end is because of who he's surrounded by. 
when they have Daniel Tice out there, he just doesn't fit with Daniel Tice. There just isn't really a great fit. But the Houston Rockets, keep in mind, are the 29th ranked defense. So you can't put it all on Christian Wood. Yeah, is Christian Wood not the best defender? He's not the best defender. But can he be serviceable? 100% absolutely can be serviceable. 17 points per game, 11 rebounds per game. He can stretch the floor. He's struggling from downtown right now. But on his career, he's about a 35% three-point shooter. So looking at this trade, I think it benefits both parties. It's just I think it benefits the Houston Rockets a little bit more in the long term. But hey, when you're competing for championships, these are the types of trades that your GM and your team is going to have to think long and hard about. Are you willing to give up the future for short-term success? In my opinion, I'm not ready. As a Bulls fan, I'm not ready for that. I don't. But like I said, man, I'm sure a decent portion of it is emotional connection, but I don't have the same emotional connection with uh, Christian Wood as I do Patrick Williams. So my cat's being a goofball. It's about to get loud in here. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, drop a comment down below on if you would accept this trade. Also, let me know if you guys like these trade videos. They're so fun to make, but um, I don't know. I, I want to hear from you guys. So hit the like button, hit that sub button. Peace.